Hello Redditors of the Internet, Nobles Enot here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash one star. These are the weirdest and most ridiculous reviews out there. Let's get started. Rebecca here bought headband headphones for sleeping and gave it one star. Oh well, sadly I was only able to try them on for one night. Kitten chewed through the wires in under 10 seconds. Damn. Yeah, but why'd you give it one star? That's not the seller's fault. This next one is leaving reviews all the way from Indianapolis to Mozambique. First, he left the Indianapolis Zoo one star because lol, I have a cat in my house, why would I want to go out and see animals? Then, in a restaurant in Mozambique, lol, only poor people eat here. And then, back at home in Indianapolis, he went to a red box machine and left one star as well. The dumb machine wouldn't give me free movie when I yelled at it. I feel like this dude is just dropping one star reviews and trolling, there's no way he actually went to Mozambique. Ladies and gentlemen, this blanket is so huge and so powerful, we might have to call it the 8th wonder of the world. I miss my wife. I never considered the ramifications of this. Sure, the wife loves it, but if you buy it, you'll never be able to get close to your wife again. It creates a frickin' wall of China in bed. It's like she's wearing a frickin' suit of armor to bed every night. I hate this thing. This next one gave a book one star because it used her lord's name in vain. Bad. Overall one star, performance one star, story one star. I have no clue if the book is good or not. After hearing the use of GD twice, I turned it off. Probably meant God there. Don't use my lord's name as a cuss word. Angry face. Now I get it, you don't like it when people use a lord's name in vain, but you didn't have to give the book one star just cause of that. For this next one, looks like a kid was playing the BitLife app, but they didn't like it. They gave it one star because Santa is fake? I'm a kid who plays this and it said that Santa isn't real with three crying emojis. I'm so mad right now. For a bit of a change of pace here, we have a two star review. Shocking. I didn't understand the movie. It was confusing, but my mom's friend was over that. Would not stop talking and I could not hear the movie. So why the hell are you gonna leave a one star review if it was someone else who ruined your experience of the movie? Had nothing to do with the movie itself. Alright, time for a bit of a longer one. Google reviews are a gold mine. This was cross posted from r slash choosing beggars, but since I didn't cover it then, I'll do it now. I've been going to this place for years and have brought many friends there during those times. Despite being a loyal customer, I have never received a free entrance, special treatment, or a discount. On my last visit, I brought four friends and all of us, including me, got a massage or body scrub. One of my friends asked if they had gotten a free entrance or some sort of voucher from them for bringing so much business. I had not. So as I left, I asked the owner if she would consider giving me a free pass for entrance one time as a valued customer. She was very rude to me and I told her I would not come back. The more I thought about it, I considered that there may be a language barrier and that the owner did not understand me. I called the next day to clarify and spoke to the owner. She had indeed understood me and let me know that she would not do anything to recognize my loyal patronage. I will not be going back there. I understand that the owners are from a different culture, but in the US, customer service is highly valued. Showing appreciation and respect for people who support your business is how you keep loyal customers. Thanks to me, they made at least $400 that day. I will take my business elsewhere from now on and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone else. Oh yes, you claim it's such terrible service just because they don't give you free stuff. You need to realize it's a business, not a charity. Alright, these next few reviews are people who are a little bit confused as to how the star system work. Linda here gave it one star because she loved it, it was very good. And another one was scrolling through Michael's and saw this one star review but they said it was a great value. We use these for our painting classes and they are perfect, so why the hell did you give it one star? And these next ones are a few ridiculous reviews from the Washington Monument. First one star review says it's too tall, what am I, a giraffe? Doesn't even look like Obama. It's the Washington Monument dude, has nothing to do with Obama. 
Another one star review says it looks nothing like Washington, it's just a stone stick. And another one star review says it looks nothing like George Washington. To the both of you, the monument doesn't have to look like George Washington. It just has to honor him, which it does. This next one is confused in the opposite direction, giving five stars because the back of the desk was broken upon arrival. Very heavy, not shipped well. Multiple piece desk with one area at the back broken. Pain to send back due to weight and need to use right away. Will not be purchasing furniture in the future. Also under the impression that it's solid wood upon arrival product was press board with wood overlay. Not acceptable. This next one is titled the study room is only for students? One star, I went here for one session and it's safe to say that I'm strongly disappointed. For one, I was immediately greeted by some plus size male with a beard. I can't remember his name, but I think it was along the lines of neckbeard, and now you know what the next video is. He was completely unwelcoming. I felt attacked by his stance. Then after spending an hour in their study room, which was reasonably enjoyable amongst other friendly students, I was abruptly told to leave the premise since I did not actually study there. I'm shocked at the given performance and I really hope this improves in the future. Obviously not a neckbeard, I was just kidding on that. But seriously, if it says that it's for students only, then you don't just go in there. There are other places where you can study. This next one gave Ninja's new book five stars because he thinks he's the next coming of Jesus Christ. And it's a shame it only got 10 upvotes. Five stars, this book is much like the Bible. It was written by a descendant of God and enlightens one who reads it to a state far beyond mortality. In the Bible's case, it was written by Jesus Christ, Son of God. However, in this book's case, it was written by Fortnite, Tyler Bleming's ninja, who is infinitely more holy, pristine, and powerful than Jesus or God. After reading this, the entire world stopped fighting and entered a golden age of peace and understanding. Ninja seeks to deliver us from this wretched world. Praise Ninja, God of all gods. <laughs> This one is just hilarious. This next one is titled, How Dare They Close The Bakery Two Minutes After Closing Time? One star. Went here with my family last night, Sunday at 8.02 p.m. to have a little dessert. As we were about to walk in, a couple walked out and the employee behind them closed the door on our faces. I understand maybe you guys close at eight, but come on, you sell desserts that are already done and on display. It's not like we were planning to order pasta and have you cook. I work in the restaurant industry, not once we close our door on customers' faces. I get it, she wanted to go home, but she only needed to grab six macarons and put them in a bag. Very simple. We will never come back here and will never recommend this place to anyone. I'm very disappointed with your employees. Well, if you came online to look at this review, then maybe you should have come online to see that the closing time of the restaurant is 8 p.m. Not 8.02, 8. And even if you came in like one minute before 8, that would still be an a-hole move. And I like this comment, once you let one bunch of customers come in after closing, you open the door to more. Before you know it, it's 8.45 p.m. and you're still stuck at work. This next one is a review on my local barbershop. Amanda gave it two stars. She never went there. She went to the dog parlor next door. This next one gave one star to the Walmart Supercenter. They didn't have one I wanted. I ended up going to Venice to get what I wanted. <laughs> Could you imagine if he actually went to Venice, Italy though to get what he wanted? This next one is a review left on the Bunker Hill Monument in Boston. This kid left it one star because it doesn't have any Fortnite. This next one is titled, Have a Bad Day, Vine. One star. I hate this. I can't even play it. I would rate this zero stars if I could. All it says terms of service, learn more and privacy policy, and it says no, continue button or whatever. So you need to fix it. I tried deleting the app and downloading, but it doesn't work. I see lots of people do cool videos and I wanted to check it out, but no, I can't. So this app is trash. Have a bad day, Vine. Yeah, sorry to say it, but Vine is no longer available. Those cool videos you see are probably either old Vine videos or TikTok videos. This next one decided to leave their review in poem form for some reason. One star. Nice people, but I walk in. I pass my bucks to the counter staff. The bucks don't stop there. Excuses begin to fly thick as the locusts of yore. No cookies. No apple pies, inadequate portions of fries. I turn on my heel and leave, ne'er to return. 
This next one is a restaurant manager absolutely roasting a Karen on TripAdvisor best ever reply and it was cross posted from r slash murdered by words this is gonna be good. Horrible. One star. The appetizers were delicious. Service was fair. Entrees were overcooked and took forever. Management was condescending and unhelpful. Half of our table got their entrees and the other half took over 30 minutes more. Service gave up at that point and we had to ask for management. The manager that came was patronizing and smug and at times downright disrespectful. Finally got the rest of our food which was overcooked and no one came to check on it. At the end of the meal, we were chastised for eating the food when we said we weren't happy with it. The manager even asked to see the food on each plate that was uneaten. Overall, we felt as though they didn't care and could do without us as customers. Good food and concept, but poorly managed and operated. Date of visit, May 2017. And the management response? Good afternoon. Since I took over the manager position here, I have sought to always own up to situations in which we did not deliver a quality experience. Please see the response to the only other negative review on this page for an example of that. This, however, is not one of those situations. You left a few things out of your review. Number 1. First and foremost, at no point did your server give up on taking care of your table. I instructed her not to return to your table after you verbally abused her, calling her among other things stupid. I will not tolerate harassment of my employees and it was only out of respect for the other members of your party and your children that I did not ask you to leave immediately. Number 2. Your party received 4 separate waves of entrees because you ordered your entrees at 4 separate times. 3. If I came across as smug and condescending, I do apologize. However, when you indicated that a medium well done filet should take no longer than 3-4 to four minutes tops to prepare, I was a bit taken aback. We have a team of chefs that have worked in highly decorated restaurants in New York, Chicago, and Asheville, and none of them is aware of such a technique that does not involve pre-cooking or microwaving. We would never do those things to our product, we have too much respect for it and our customers. Number 4. I did not demand to see your already eaten food. I asked if I could see the overcooked entrees whereupon you indicated that you had already eaten it. It is impossible for me or the chef to improve operations without constructive feedback, and unfortunately, an extremely rude dismissal and a turn back doesn't leave much room for dialogue. Also worth noting is that I did not ask you to pay for those two dishes, another fact that you left out of your review. Ultimately, I do appreciate your party joining us at a restaurant this past Friday night. They seemed like very pleasant people, and I hope that they were able to enjoy their experience in spite of your conduct. Normally, if I'm convinced that a restaurant and customer are not a good fit for each other, I would encourage that customer to try out other restaurants that might be a better fit. However, I would not wish your particular brand of malicious incivility on anybody. Best General Manager Damn, this roast was not just medium well, it was well done. This, my friends, is how you absolutely murder a one-star review from an entitled Karen. This next one is a two-for-one special on a floor lamp at Walmart. The reviews, I mean. One star looks nicer than I thought. I was pleasantly surprised at how decorative it was when my son put it together. I am enjoying it and one star great buy. Not only adds a nice Victorian accent to my living room, but it was also very affordable and easy to assemble. I'd also like to give both of your reviews one star, because you don't seem to get how the stars work. Luckily, each review contains convenient thumbs up and down buttons. I think I'll be using the thumbs down on this one. This next one is titled, Not Sure What He Thinks You're Supposed To Do At An Art Museum. One star, a waste of time. Just about the only good thing about the Kyoto National Museum is the water cooler. You can drink as much as you like and also fill up your bottle. You can then turn around and leave this boring place. Maybe you can relax in the museum park. It's certainly not worth wasting your time looking at some old pots, sculptures, and prints. Indeed, looking is all you're allowed to do. Taking pictures is verboten. Not sure why the switch to German in there. The museum shop is also totally disappointing. This next one is some kid who posted this to the middle school. Five stars. I was attacked by a creature in a bath. It looked like it had large lumps all over its body and had red eyes. Then a baby came out of my locker and looked me in the eyes and yelled, be gone human being. And I was shot in 
the bathroom by a midget named your mom. He did this I crying about how I'll never get girlfriend. Damn, this child has quite the imagination, my goodness. For this next one, I don't even know how this happens. One star for a Vengeance LPX Black 16 gigabytes of RAM. Fake item received. I ordered this item as an upgrade for my home PC. I opened the package and it's a freaking block of pressed wood. And this last one is a review for Chuck E. Cheese Racing World. This game changed my life. Five stars. Before I got this game, my life was terrible. I had very little friends and almost nothing to do. When I downloaded this game, it changed my entire life. I would spend hours and hours playing this game so I could show off to people how good I was at Chuck E. Cheese Racing World. Eventually, I landed a contract with a professional esport team for the game. All I can say is that this game changes who I am forever. Please download this game right away! God damn, dude. I love the ones where they're just praising the item or the person like if they completely changed their life. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Peter Dankledge, Seth Southwell, Spoonie the Rogue, and Forever Tired. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.